Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So first and foremost, I'm so sorry about my absence on my channel. If you guys watched my more recent videos, I mentioned that I was going to be going away a lot in March. So I was in Africa for two weeks, then I came back for a few days, and then I went on a road trip with my brother. I'm going to be sharing a vlog of the road trip. That'll probably be my next video. As for Africa, I know a couple of you guys had left me comments asking if I could do a vlog about my trip there. And I wanted to, but I mentioned that I couldn't promise it because for those of you who don't know, I went there on a missionary trip. And honestly, there was so much I wasn't allowed to film. Or even if I did, I wasn't allowed to post it. Like, I could post it on our church page or something, but I can't just post it publicly, you know what I mean? Because it'll be putting the people that we saw in danger, especially because we're around so many young kids. So I'm debating about just doing a story time about it and then inserting the pictures that I can share. But at the same time, I thought that would be kind of boring. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with that, but I just wanted to mention that because I said I'll try so it's still in the work I actually just got back so I'm looking a little bit crazy I'm still really tired I haven't even unpacked yet so excuse like my image I got back two days ago but it still feels like I just got back but anyway that's not what this video is about in today's video I'm going to be doing a tag a question tag I got tagged by Miss T with the T um, I believe it's just called a five question tag I'm not sure what the actual name for it is but I'll insert her video so you guys can know what I'm talking about but anyways, it's just five questions about me, so I was tagged, so I'm going to share some facts with you guys. Alright, so I'm going to get right into it. So the first question about me is lefty or righty? I am right-handed. I'm not special. Just right-handed. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever people ask me that, I feel like it's such a boring answer to say right-handed. I wish I could say I'm left-handed. I'm one of the many people who, as a kid, I tried to make myself ambidextrous, and I tried training myself to with my left hand, but it didn't work out. I'm not ambidextrous. I'm just right-handed, so... I'm a righty. Next question is single or taken? <laughs> I'm single, <laughs> but I'm laughing about it because when I was in Africa, actually, I got a lot of offers for marriage. <laughs> no, but the funny thing is, sorry, this is a side note. Sorry, I get sidetracked so easily, but there's a good chance that I'm actually in a relationship right now and I just don't know it. So long story short, this, this one family I met, who like they were working with the team their son apparently he saw me and was like automatically like oh that's who I want my wife to be and he told his mom to talk to me for him and whatever so we had our conversation or whatever and then he ended up getting me a present which was just like jewelry and I didn't think anything of it but then I realized but then later on like his parents started buying me stuff too and it was just the whole thing and then he talks to me on whatsapp still so just the way that he talks to me it kind of feels like I am in a relationship and I'm just like, I don't know, something's he's saying, I'm like, wait a second, are we actually together or, like, I'm really not sure, because I saw him a lot when I was on the trip and, like, it was obvious that he was interested in me, but I feel like he moved a lot faster than I was expecting to, so there's a slight chance that I'm actually in a relationship right now, I'm just gonna leave it at that, so, <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm single, but put a question mark on the end. Anyway, moving on. So next question is, what are three positive traits about you? And I'll be honest, I just started working on these questions this morning, so I didn't put too much thought into them, so I'd probably have better answers if I did think about it, but these are the, just the first three things that came to my head. So the first one I feel like is really cliche, and it's just that I'm a caring person. But it's true, I am a caring person, I, I empathize with people a lot. I feel like I'm the kind of person who cares too much, actually, like I put other people before myself even when I shouldn't, but... It's a good and a bad thing, but I feel like for the most part, it is a good thing to be a genuinely caring person. So, yeah. I'm an angel. Whatever. Not trying to brag, but I'm kind of perfect. Whatever. Okay, the next thing is I'm a fighter. And when I say that, it mean, I mean that I'm not afraid to say what I believe in or I'll stand up for myself or stand up for somebody who needs someone to stand up for them. And the reason I choose this to share with you guys is because it took me so long to get to be this strong i've always been a shy person i've never been one to open up and speak up for myself and it's not that i was naive and i just won't know that i should stand up it's just that i just didn't have the courage to speak or to say anything it took me so long to get to where i am so the fact that i am like a no-nonsense type of person now is like a complete turnaround from who i used to be so that is something that i'm proud of and lastly i'm a go-getter when i have a goal i don't hesitate i don't make excuses i just keep pushing for it i think that's how i ended up being a business owner without even trying it's just like i knew that this is what i wanted to do this is where i had to be and i just i go for what i'm after i go after what i i want basically so 
yeah, those are my three positive traits. And then the next one is what are three negative traits. So again, I didn't put much thought into them, but here we go. So my first negative trait, if I'm being honest, is I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> this is something I have to be really honest with myself about. Like, I feel like I, I really do have a shopping addiction. And I don't shop often, but I get urges to shop, if that makes sense. Like, I'm the kind of person where, let's say that I finish working early or somebody client, um, client, Sorry, I thought I heard somebody. No one else is home, so. Hello? So my house is almost never empty, so when I am in the house alone, every little sound just scares me I'm just not used to being alone, so I automatically feel like someone's coming to attack me because they know I'm alone. I'm so dramatic. Anyway, so yeah, if I were to get off of work early or I just had free time, my first instinct would be, let me go to the store and buy something. And I could feel myself wanting to do that. And when I was younger, I would. And I would just, like when I was first starting to make money, and you know, when you start working and you're really young, you just kind of want to just spend money on stupid things. And I feel like I never really grew out of that phase, but I don't go shopping, but it's just the fact that I have the urge to do it. I'm, I'm the kind of person to buy unnecessary things. At least I'm a bargain hunter, so I usually get good deals on things, but still. I don't know. I, I think that's a negative trait. Does that count? I think so. All right, so my next one is I'm a very sensitive person, which everyone says is a good thing, but I mostly think it's a bad thing just because it's very easy to make me cry. And I feel like this goes against what I was saying where I say I'm a very strong person because, you know, deep down, I'm still always going to be the shy person that I am because that's just who I am. So anyways, it's very easy. I don't know. I get offended easily over little things and I don't know. I just, I hate how easily pain shows on me, you know, like it's good to have that sensitivity, but a lot of times it, it's worked as a disadvantage for me. You know, I end up looking weak in front of people that I didn't want to appear that way to and you know it's just I don't know I just feel like it has its cons and I don't know that's one thing I've always just hated like I just wish I was a little bit stronger and able to hide my hurt and my pain a little bit better you know what I mean and then finally my last negative trait I would say I'm a little too image conscious like I care about what I look like almost all the time even when I know I'm just, just like dressed down and I'm just going to the store or whatever I still care to a point that I still look cute even though I look bummy if that makes sense or I hate sticking out, like, I don't know, let's say I'm, like, if I'm going out with people, like, with friends or something, and I notice I'm a little underdressed or overdressed, I'll be so self-conscious the entire time. And it's, like, little things. Like, I'll just be like, ugh, I wish I wore a different pair of shoes so I look like them, or my hair was styled a little bit differently. I don't know, I just, I, I don't know, I always pay attention to the way I'm dressed in comparison to other people, and it's not really that important half the time. Like, even right now, I'm, I'm a little self-conscious about my hair because my roots are so grown out. <laughs> This is the um, hair I wore to Africa and I didn't hold up very well at all. I don't know if it's the hair or if it's me because like I mentioned, I, I'm losing so much strength in my hands so I was having a hard time doing my hair but this is bothering me, I'm about to take it out. But anyway, just like little things like that, like I'm always conscious about every little flaw and I wish I just really didn't care. Like I don't always care but when I do care, I care too much, you know? So there's that. Okay, finally, final question is where do I see myself on YouTube in five years? I honestly don't know. So I've gone back and forth with what my YouTube goals really are. Okay, so when I first started YouTube, that was when I was almost 22 years old. And I'm 28 now, in case you guys don't know. So when I first started, I wanted to be a YouTuber just because it just looked fun. Like I found a side of YouTube where people were like doing those what's my purse videos and room tours and beauty videos. And I was so into that. And I was also, um, I had just finished cosmetology school. So I was like, oh my gosh, this platform is perfect for me. I could share my cosmetology school experiences and whatever. So I like share what I learned and all that good stuff. So I wanted to be a YouTuber, but um, I don't know, like back then, phones didn't have good cameras, so you have to have a good camera and good lighting, and I didn't have all that, so I feel like right off the bat, my videos look boring. And also, I just hate watching my old videos because I just sat there with no personality, so I don't know. I, I started with the goal to like become YouTube famous at some point, and I quickly got over that because I was like, eh, I don't really care how far I get, but I'm still having fun making videos, so I was happy with the three subscribers that I had for the longest while, and I really didn't care. And then one day a few years later, I was like, you know what, I want to actually be a YouTuber, but I don't have time for it. As I've mentioned many times, I, I was a dancer, and dancer dancing, just like any other competitive sport or competitive activity, it just takes up so much of your time and it's such a commitment. So being a dancer and a full-time worker at the same time, I had no free time, so I couldn't really put time into editing videos and making videos and blah, 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 blah. I was like, you know what, I want to actually like make time for this, but I can't do it right now, so I made this video where I was like, hey everyone, I'm taking a break from YouTube and I'll be back. 
no one was even listening to me but whatever and then like a year later i made my youtube comeback and then right around that time the pandemic hit so i had nothing but free time so since i had so much free time i went back to my goal of actually getting monetized and whatever and then the pandemic the quarantine ended and i went back to work and i went back to being busy because i went back to dance and everything and again i was just like I don't really care. So long story short, I think I'm just having fun with wherever YouTube takes me. I don't have a goal. I feel like if I set a goal, I'm going to be disappointed because I'm not getting, I'm not growing as much as most other YouTubers are. I'm not getting monetized. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I'm still having fun doing it. So I'm just more like, I'll just see where it goes. I'm just going to go with the flow, but I'm happy where I am. Okay. So I'm happy that I have somebody out there watching my video. So I'm good with that. So I think in five years I'll still be doing YouTube videos, but I still don't see myself ever like getting a YouTube schedule and being like up there. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. If it does, it does, and I'll be grateful. But I'm I'm happy. So I I don't know how to answer this question. I don't know where I'll be in five years. There, that's my answer. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, those are the five questions that I had to answer. So thank you, Miss T with the T for tagging me. So next I have to tag people. I forgot how many I'm supposed to tag. I I completely forgot how many to tag. But right off my head, the people I want to tag is, I want to tag um, Brittany from On Behalf of Brit. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Our content is very similar and I love watching her videos. Next, I want to tag um, Simply Me. Nee. She's one of my biggest supporters since like day one of my YouTube comeback. So, have to tag her too. That's my girl. Who else? Who else? I want to tag Everybody Love Jess, another supporter of mine. She's about to have a baby though, so I don't know if she'll have time. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, so maybe your baby's already here. Who knows? But if you do have time, I'm tagging you as well. How many was that? How did I already lose count? I'm going to tag um, Tyrone Morgan, another big supporter. And I think I'm up to five now. And I also want to tag Brittany Gray. She's a YouTuber that I watch. I honestly don't know if she watches my videos, but I comment on her videos. So if you happen to watch my videos, I tag you as well. So, yeah, I think that's five people. Guys, I'm so out of it. Like, I'm barely even awake right now. I don't know where all this energy is coming from. I haven't really gotten over my jet lag or car lag because I was on a road trip or... I don't know. I'm out of it, but I feel all over the place. So sorry. <laughs> so anyway, that is it for this video. I'm so glad to be tagged. And I hope those of you who I did tag did this video as well. And if you're just watching this, you just come across this video and you want to do it, I tag you also. So go for it. I've done so many tag videos without being tagged, so why not? why not so anyways that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye